<laughs> Thanks for coming out. Happy to be here. I'm with Quantum Merchant Services, and we do credit card processing, gift cards, loyalty card program, websites, design, hosting. We do cash advance. We do uh, consumer, just started now, auto loans and auto repair loans. Okay, like he said, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. We're a locally owned, we're out of Oakdale, Minnesota. Been there 16 years, met, member of the Better Business Bureau. We deal with small businesses. Most of the small businesses don't get a fair rate, a fair chance at some of the banks that they work with on their merchant services. We come in and look at what you're doing based on your volume, <coughs> based on your transactions, your uh, needs, and put together a package that works for you. We're, um, as I said, we're part of the Better Business Bureau, A plus rating since 1994. When businesses don't take credit cards, there's still a few out there. I've been to a barber shop. There's a fancy hair salon in Wyzetta. He doesn't take them, but he's working on it. He makes people go to the ATM machine, take out the money, and he gets the fee. But it aggravates some of his clients. So um, when you take a credit card, people will spend more money on that service. Example. If you go into uh, auto repair, let's say Tires Plus, and you can get your oil change, maybe you need a set of tires. Well, if they can give you 30 days or 90 days or six months to pay, you might be able, okay, I'll spend the $500 and pay it over time. They win, you win. You get your product and it's affordable payment. When uh, a customer is happy and uh, you get a 20% more when they use a credit card versus the check or cash. If they don't take a credit card, a lot of people don't take checks, they'll make you go across the street to an ATM machine and kind of noise, noise you. We offer the equipment, we offer sales, service, we do the check deposit <coughs> guarantee. Still people are writing checks. There's seven million checks written today. It used to be 40 billion with a B. We also do um, the smart phone or on your phone you can take a, a application add it to your <coughs> cell phone or your iPad there's a client that I have who owns a golf center and he has golf lessons so he can take it on his phone or his iPad swipe the card and lady bought eight a package of eight versus one here and one there and he was happy another lady owns a Pilates company and when somebody canceled she didn't get reimbursed for that day you just she ate the the time and had a free hour. So if you charge them a package of eight or a package of four or ten, you can decide if you want to restock their fee or you know you have the money up front, and they can have it on their phone, their iPad. We also do um, online. We have a client that has an insurance company. He went from zero to eighty thousand a week in insurance program that he sells to his clients, doing online. That's oh, here, that's um, out of the way. Here, that's one of the. <laughs> what a machine looks like. Years ago, it used to have what it used to be a knuckle buster. If anybody's old enough to remember in the 80s, you ran it through, you mm -hmm. clicked it, you called it in. It could take 10 days for that money to get to the bank. Now, it's the same day. At midnight, you have to batch out or you're fine. It goes down to the Fed, the Fed gets it to the bank. If you look online, it'll show pending. And, and if you're the merchant, you can have the money the same day if you close out before three or the next day by you know, 8 a.m. We have machines that we sell, lease, um, equipment that helps you. With us, you get us, you get the experience. If the machine breaks or equipment, we replace it the next day free. And I've driven three hours just to hand deliver a machine to a client at 5 p.m. on a Friday, on a holiday weekend. You can add a pin pad for security, so when you swipe the card, you enter in one, two, three, four, one, three, four, five. Um, or a zip code or your address for verification. If you don't sign the back of your car, they may ask for your ID. The type of businesses we help, restaurants, uh, car lots. There's a gas station in town that has eight locations. Bobby and Steve's are one of our special clients. Um, took a look at what he was doing. He thought, oops, I went too far. He thought he was getting a good deal. He was being charged four cents at the pump and four cents on his statement. He had no idea. He thought he was getting a good deal. Well, yeah, yeah, if you're only paying once, but you're paying twice. And most people don't know how to read their statement. The companies confuse you. It'll say discount $200. So it looks like you're saving that. That's what they took out that day. Sometimes they take it out every day. Usually it's once a month. And there's a fee for a fee, 
and another fee. We have one fee, 10 bucks. That's it. <coughs> Again, that's standard equipment now. We have uh, Wi-Fi. I don't have one here, but that's what it looks like. You can have in your hand, if you're at Valley Fair, selling hats or T-shirts or at the Twins game, you know, boom. You slide the card, it goes through. They can sign on an iPad, which is there's not one here, but with your finger and get a receipt and have it emailed to you. We also handle the POS system, touchscreen for restaurants or retail. It does everything from the menu to the managing of your employees, inventory, uh, detailed report, uh, the time clock, payroll, and your website. There's three types of the POSs, and that starts at about 80 bucks a month. And that's for restaurants, pizza shops, retail, grocery. We have the check process and guarantee, so you run the check through, it'll guarantee it. If it's bad, then you get the money and they go after whoever wrote the check. And that's um, not as popular as it used to be because most people don't write checks. We have a gift card and loyalty program. It increases cash flow to the business. I have a client who has a clothing store in Excelsior. She can put $20 on the card and give you $25. So when you spend $20, you get $25. The money goes into her account that day. You may not use that card for a week, a month, two months, maybe give it as a present. Holiday time, most of the restaurants you'll see, buy 100, get 125, or buy 50, get 60. You don't use that card for months. They have the W, or Manny's down in the W does a million dollars from November, from Thanksgiving to New Year's Eve in just gift cards, a million bucks. And 20% are never redeemed. So it's a great way to have cash flow in any dollar amount. You can reuse them, reload them, redeem them other, for anything other than cash. We also do, there's some stock design. You can custom make your, your gift cards. There's some that we've done from Outback, TJ Maxx, Applebee's. If you need money for your business, this is where it really is helpful. It's the cash advance program. Most people uh, who get turned down from a bank, it's because they have a low credit score or something happened or life happened. They got divorced or bankruptcy or whatever. With us, you can have a credit score of 500 or more, not 620, and anywhere from 5,000 to 200,000, whether it's to remodel or keep your doors open. And they take out, it's a loan against your daily cash advance. So if you're doing 100,000 a month, they can take out you know, $7 a day, $20 a day, whatever the numbers is. And it's a great way to um, stay ahead or re depends on what your needs are. Other things we do, payroll services, we do free check, check guarantee if it's under $75. Prepaid services are the phone cards, or like you've seen them at Walgreens, you walk in, you buy one for Applebee's or Outback or Red Lobster, or that kind of thing. We do those as well. And you can get, um, we just started this a year ago, which is the Express Consumer Financing. That's where you go in to, to get your car repaired and you don't have the money. You can pay a, over a year. You divide it by 12. You put 25% down, pay it off up to a year when someone's in a bind. And what we try to do is we meet with you and we say, what's your needs? We're not the discount house. We don't claim to be, but we give you experience. We give you expertise and we tell you the truth. There are fees in everything. We tell you up front, here's what your lease is. Here's what your monthly statement is. That's it. There's two things, a lease or buy and a statement fee. That's it. There's no hidden charges, no hidden surprises. Um, you know, you get free tape, you know, the receipt tape. We don't charge you 20 bucks. You know, every time people get a statement, they're like, oh, a fee, a fee, a fee. That's what they're frustrated about. Here, without even looking at this, what we do is we, we make a difference. We're local, we're small in the community. I mean, we do 200 plus million, which is small in the industry. When you call us, you get me. You get the president, you get our IT guy. You get me at three o'clock on Sunday. You get me when I'm going through the car wash or at the kids' baseball game. I call you back, find out what hurts, and I fix it. You don't get voicemail where no one calls you back. You get someone that cares. We make a difference. We're givers in the community. We're involved in some charity and, you know, having the small town feel, but yet from $200 a month to $15 million, there's a place for everybody to fit in. So that's kind of what we do, and I want to thank you for listening. Well, questions. Sure. When it comes to projecting your image, what does it say if you don't have, have credit cards? I mean, I when I started my business seven years ago, my first <coughs> thought was, you know, I don't need that, that's, that's way too expensive. And that was <coughs> ill-advised, and I, had, I changed my mind a short time after that. But people started saying to me, 
do you take credit cards? And I had no problem saying, no, not at all. I would dare do that today. Well, that's a very good question. There's a few barber shops. When I say barber shop, I mean they have the red pole, the red and white pole, that will not take a credit card or a check. They don't want to, they're afraid. They been doing it, their father's been doing it, their grandpa's been doing it, they're not going to, you could do it, I could pay them $100 a month to do it and they won't do it. Outside of a few barber shops, if you're not taking a credit card, you're missing the opportunity, your client's going to think you're stuck in the 70s, maybe the 80s, and most people don't carry that kind of cash anymore. Everything is a credit card, maybe it's rewards card, maybe it's they get miles, maybe they get points, maybe they get 10 cents off their gasoline, and it just puts you in, you know, we're going to be halfway in 2013. We're almost closer to 2014. If you don't take one, you're just missing an opportunity for a sale and to make your client happy. That answers it. Okay, well, thank you very okay. much. Oh, 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 sure. Oh, yeah, sir. Uh, how about the, uh, if you buy more than $5, then I'll use the credit card. What do you think about that? Some businesses say that you have to purchase more than $5 yes. to take the credit cards. I think they're stupid. <laughs> oh. That's my opinion. There's one that does $10. I was at a place, at a flower shop, and I said, do you take a credit card? She said, yeah, but you have to spend at least 10 I said, I'm sure I will. It's annoying. And right now, as of January 29th, the merchant can add on up to two and a half or three percent fee. So if you were buying something, even if it's five dollars, they would say, okay, it's going to be 69 cents for you to use your card. Or they just add it on, so whatever that percent is. I think it's silly. I would just take the card. Most of your sales wouldn't be five dollars, most are 45 or whatever it is. Why well, aggravate the guy that might come back and book a big party? What is the advantage to using more service as opposed to the bank? Better rate, better customer service, and we're going to care more. You're not going to be, you will have a number, but you won't be a number. But it is a better rate, generally, or yes. always? Generally. And we'll care a little bit more than the bank. Yes, sir. What are typical fees for having credit card? What are you typically paying? If you start that? with a debit card, it's as low as 0.99. That's less than a percent. An average is right around 1.79. And then the type of card depends on the fee. American Express is 3.5 or 3.7 because they charge a lot. Uh, rewards cards, like airline cards, 2.2. And again, it depends on the service, the, you know, if you're selling luggage or car repair. Or now, you're saying that's different if you're doing it through you versus a bank in terms of those fees? Or yeah, because they, mar they mark it up. We don't mark it up. I mean, it's eight of us, you know, we don't have, we have a nice office and all that, but you don't have all that, you know, I have a 13 year old car, you know, I don't have a new Mercedes <laughs> anymore. No, <I> <laughs> so it's, you know, we take all the middle stuff out and you deal directly with us. You know. Okay, thank you. you. Oh, for sure. Uh, you hear all about the swipe fee and stuff, yeah. it's being kind of a detriment to getting into cars and stuff. Can you explain that a little bit? Sure. What that is, every time you use the card, the merchant has, is charged a swipe fee. It should be a nickel. Some people do 25 cents, 30 cents, 15 cents, and then they add that on top <coughs> of another fee. So a time, if you did 1,200 transactions and it's a quarter of time, all of a sudden you're like, why, why am I paying $300 just for, what is this? But most people don't look. They just look at, I ran 1 point, you know, 100,000 through, and this is what's the positive. No one knows how to read a statement like they should. And that's where they get confused. The, the swipe fee goes to companies like yours then? No. To? Oh yeah, they would charge, yeah, the, the, the merchant would be charged by the bank or whoever, right. But it should be a nickel, you know, maybe a dime, not 30 cents, 20 cents. But you're up front, that's with the process, you know. We don't mark it up. So again, that's where people <laughs> look and say, wow, I didn't know. At the end of the month, they're paying $700 just in fees, and they did 36 grand. It's not right. So you're not charging white fees, you're charging them based <coughs> on monthly revenue of the business, right? We could, whatever is best for you. There's some times where we may charge you a nickel. It's based on your volume, what type of program you want, how much you're running through, what type of, yeah. So there's a fee, but you're told up front, it could be, 
you know, five cents, could be seven cents. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So every 800, okay, it's seven dollars. All right, I, you know day one before you sign anything, not surprise, open up the bill and why am I paying $700 and no one calls me back? Sure. So it's a fee-based, you know, um, entity where if you, you have one price, you know, everything's included, then that's the smart way to do it. Yes, sir. Question of what are the advantages using your services over things like Intuit on an iPad or Square on an iPad? Or Square is not a true merchant account. They could keep your money up to 30 <coughs> days if you spend over 2,000 or have 2,000 deposited. Um, we also have the iPad application. Uh, you'd have to do a comparison. You can find out, and again, even if they have a fee of 1.1%, make sure there's nothing hidden. That you're not getting charged for an annoyance fee, this fee, this fee, and then make sure you know how to read what you're signing up for. Should be a statement fee. Maybe if you go online with authorized.net, eight dollars a month to view your statements every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's it. No more. No hidden fees. So, okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, thank you.